Hello and welcome. Uh, it is a brand new live series, uh, and from now on, I am going to do another series where I just built in creative, and I'm actually going to show you how I come up with designs when I build or when I make a tutorial. First, I want to show you something else. Uh, I, I want to show you the uh, creative world I made just to come up with ideas and after that I'm going to make another creative world and then we are going to start building a, a medieval house which I'm not quite good at Poseidon Lord Zaid uh, welcome thank you for subscribing okay so first let me show you my normal creative world there are a lot of unnecessary things around here, so okay, so let's zoom out. And this is actually where it all begins. Um this is how I start or try to come up with ideas. I just hop on to this world and I just start building. Um please make a gold farm. I will definitely make another gold farm soon. Um, as you can see this contains almost every build I have made uh, except for a couple uh, I have to be honest sometimes I just start a new world just to come up with ideas uh, let me uh, actually boost up my render distance so that I can show you a lot more as you can see it, it is a quite interesting world it, uh, it is actually it looks like an unfinished uh, village. It's quite interesting. But again, uh, I'm not going to use this world for today's video because uh, I want to make the world download uh, available for you. And I don't think that you just want all of this mess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, there are some designs over here which I didn't build yet. Uh, one of those is this. I came up with this design uh, quite some time ago, but I've never made a tutorial for this one. So there are a lot of things I just skipped or I decided not to make. And there are a lot of very old houses. Uh, as you can see, this is one of my first tutorials. Uh, this one as well. And this is quite interesting to see the uh, to see those builds because it actually shows how much uh, I've changed when it comes to building. I don't do this design. I'm actually quite happy with how this one turned out, and but I don't know. I, I do a lot more builds which look uh, maybe like this. Uh, sorry, not that one. This. I have changed uh, it a lot actually. But uh, anyway, this is something I just wanted to show you. And again, this is another design I never finished. <laughs> there are a lot of these uh, over here. But uh, let's uh, actually hop to a brand new world and um, let's uh, try to come up with a medieval design. Now, why I chose medieval is quite simple. It's because I'm not good at medieval designs. So uh, let's give this medieval life. Here we go. <clears throat> and um, first, uh, I always start with three different colors. So that's maybe the first tip I can give you. Uh, let's give ourselves night vision. Okay, now, like I said, I like to pick three, at least three different colors. So in this case, I am going to go for maybe dark oak wood. And when it comes to medieval design, I think stone looks great as well. So maybe... A mixture of uh, cobblestone, uh, not the infested one. Just 
the regular cobblestone. And of course, the deep sleigh looks quite lovely with the dark oak wood and the stone uh, and the cobblestone. So I'm going to go for these three colors. Uh, I want to add another one, which is going to be wood. Now, I really like the spruce wood, um, but I have used it quite a lot lately. So let's uh, at least get some spruce wood in here. And maybe the stripped spruce wood or the birch wood. I think birch looks uh, quite good with the dark oak and the uh, deep slate. So I think I'm going to go for these. Now first, uh, obviously you don't have any idea about what I'm going to build. So let's uh, make it daytime. <clears throat> I'm going to make a medieval mansion. So I want to have three um, what's towers. And after that, I think I am going to go for a um, too high house. And then we make an attic area as well. So to start off, I am going to make uh, three circular shapes. And I hope that I don't, I didn't forgot how to do that. Um, <laughs> let's see. <clears throat> think it was six one two three four five six and then we go in three two two i think it was something like this so then you can add five blocks okay i get it it was something like this so one two three four five six Here we go. <laughs> Is this straight? I think it's correct, right? Yeah, it is correct. Um, to, yeah. <laughs> this should be correct. I'm not sure, but, but what is my random distance? Okay. Now I want to have a wall over here. So let's get rid of these three blocks. Then uh, let's go in maybe with some cobblestone. Or do I use the deep side? I think cobblestone. So let's go out four blocks. Why not? Let's do the same thing over here. And now I want to have one more over here and then another one on the side. But uh, no, no, no. Let's stick to the wood first. Okay. And then another one. I think we need some more space. So instead of four, I'm going to go six. And then let's make the same circular shape. Two. Uh, yes. Three. One, two, three. Oh, let's actually go in one more block. It's easier for getting the second row in. Uh, if we do it this way, then we can add an additional one over here. Okay, so let's make the circular shape again. I, I'm sorry, I have to concentrate, otherwise I'm going to make a mistake and um, it's going to go all weird. Okay, now we have two circular shapes. Um, let's... Okay, now <laughs> we have a huge... <laughs> it, look, it just looks like glasses, but it's not. And then I'm going to make another one. Over here, it doesn't really matter, and I'm going to use one of these as the entrance. So let's actually go this way again. So <clears throat> let's get rid of these one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Here we go, and then we can just make the same circular shape. Do you guys enjoy building in Minecraft, or do you like the um, gameplay itself? Do you uh, ever beat... Did you ever beat the dragon? I didn't. And I played this game for a very long time now. Okay, now let's make sure that these are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> now we've got three of these. Um, now for the sides, I want to make this on the back side as well. So. But that's for later. First, I want to design the front view. I really like to do that always. Uh, just deciding how the front is going to look. And the back side and the sides. Just, um, I go with the design. Uh, so, I mean, I go with the design. I came up with the uh, for the front side. I use that same design for the sides and the back side. So, it is very important to get the um, overall design of the building first so now I need definitely to make uh, need to make this too high uh, so let's uh, actually add another block on top okay let's get this in Okay, now and we definitely need to access this at some point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the back sides not yet but okay we go until this way and then we're going to have another area over here which goes this way so we can get rid of these so that we can access this at some point but for now i'm going to leave it in just because we're going to make a tower and obviously we should be able to complete the design and after that we can just get rid of this please show all your builds um <laughs> i would love to but uh, i have around four or five hundred of them so it is uh, quite impossible for me to show every single one. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Uh, actually, I am not sure why I'm building this in. So we can stop over here and then get rid of these and build this up again. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, we can get rid of all of these, to be honest. This was just to give us an indication about how it's going to end up looking. So, we can get rid of these. And we can get rid of this side. Here we go. Okay, now, once this is in place, uh, we still need to design the towers itself. So let's do that. Um, this is going to be the entrance. So let's take some stairs. Uh, I think these spruce stairs would look good. Okay, now let's put this in. And I'm not too worried about the details yet. Okay, now... Let's build up the entrance then. How many blocks should I go up? I think around seven is good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Or is it too big? I think it's 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 fine. 
Okay, now let's go in another row. Let's change up the palettes. So let's go for this strip that I'll go for now and then build it up. Maybe something like this. And then we can add the stairs for detail. Why not? And I need some fences. Uh, I'm not going to add too much detail yet, but... Okay. Now we've got the entrance. Which doesn't look that promising yet, but don't worry. Okay, now let's build up these pillars as well. Then we're going to go in line with the same uh, art shape, actually. And then go in and connect these two points. Okay, let's uh, do it underneath as well. Okay, it's, it's starting to come together, so... Then we go across. Then we can just build this in, right? And I'm going to have a wall over here, but for just for now, I just want to indicate everything. Place glass. Uh, yeah, I am going to add glass on the sides. But... First, I want to make the general shape. Um, okay, let's uh, do it over here as well. Here we go. And then we build this up. Okay, now we do the same thing over here. And after I got the uh, after I get this in, I'm going to build the sides and the back side because this way we have the general shape in place. So here we go. Probably needs to build this in as well, otherwise it's going to be weird when you put glass in, so. Here we go. And now let's build this side up as well. So like I said, I don't do this for each build. I have to be honest, I try to improvise a lot when I make builds, but just because this is in creative, this allows me to show you actually more detailed way of how I build or how I come up with design ideas. So, and this has been actually requested a lot uh, because I, when, when I make a tutorial, obviously I skip a lot of parts which i mean i i uh, use time lapse just to speed up everything and it can get uh, quite confusing uh, if it goes too fast but now you know how i try to come up with design ideas and a mistake is easily made as you can see uh this is all good now okay now let's build this side in as well And when, whenever you see a 10 minute video of mine or 15 minutes, it kind of looks like that the design took 15 minutes as well. But you have to <laughs> realize that uh, if, if you see my video and it is 15 minutes long, I can assure you that it takes me uh, an hour or two just to build everything, leave alone making the tutorial itself. I think the tutorial part is actually the easiest part of everything. Um, okay, I'm talking too much, so I make mistakes. Oh, and I forgot that 
this should be right here okay this looks promising How much logs it takes? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I can calculate that afterwards. Uh, we can go back and look to the statistics and we can see how often a block is used. Now, for the sites, I'm going to do the same thing. But this time I want to go out uh, maybe 10 blocks. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then we have a circular shape we go out again hmm or do i stick with the same design i think sticking with the same design is going to be the best way uh yeah why not let's stick to six so one two three four five and six then we can just build this in and we just only need these two blocks for reference so one two three four five six then we can just do the same thing okay let's go in again and we don't need to complete these uh, this circle so we are going to leave it as this and then let's go out again one two three four five six uh do i go twice instead of three i think otherwise it's going to get too big and I don't want to make it too big because we are going to have at least one or two more floors on top. So let's actually go back from this point. Okay, now this also means we need to finish this. Um, three, two, two. I made a mistake somewhere here. So three, two, two. Three, two, two. Um, three, two, two, three. Okay, now it's correct. Ah, I get it. Um, we should go in form a block like this yeah now okay it's okay it's okay please take some rest what do you mean <laughs> um are you bored <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and let's go in again. And this time we're going to stick with three. So, okay. Now we can stop over here, just go in, and then just repeat the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. This time we are going to fully complete it until this point. Um, three, two, two, three. Okay, and then we can just stop over here and connect these two points. Here we go. 
Now we can get rid of this as well. And obviously we can get rid of this. And also this. Okay, so <laughs> that's done. Now we need to build all of these up again. Oh, and I forgot that we need to add, uh, need to add another row on top. Yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> placing blocks. And that's why I always uh, tend to build with uh, Poseidon. To, uh, oh, bye. Uh, bye. Bye too. So have a, have a nice day. Now, what I wanted to say is I tend to improvise everything while I go. So, no, I don't design everything this way. But when I really want to come up with something big or something I've never done before I built it uh, first and then I'm usually making tutorial afterwards but often I decide once I have the front side I decide to make the tutorial as well it doesn't always work out great but <laughs> it works Okay, now we need to connect these two points. Uh, here we go. Just as easy as that. And again, we're going to add another row underneath. Because I want to add some stairs just to give this a little bit more depth. Here we go. And if you have suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know. Oh. This is great about uh, being in a creative world because I can do weather clear <laughs> and we have solved our problem. It never rains in paradise, right? There we go, let's go in. And usually a uh, building like this is quite boring. But when you do it live, like I do right now, it's just much easier to bear for me. <laughs> because it's so lonely to decide what I'm going to do and just come up, coming up with a design. And this way it's interactive, so it makes it much more easy for me to focus as well. Okay, then we go in. we go and uh, do I have another block over here yeah and afterwards I am going to uh, put in the description the requirements as well uh, but I'm not sure if you can build along with this uh, tutorial it's it's not a tutorial actually but I think you can build along if you pay attention but it can be quite difficult because I don't have any idea what, where this is going. <laughs> this is me just having a very basic idea of what I want. And then try to build it. Okay, let's um, finish this part. Do I... No, let's leave this out for now. Okay, let's go in. Come on, here we go. Looks great already, right? <laughs> the basic shape looks great, um, but we'll see how it is going to go. And I'm going to use some class at some point, definitely. 
pescado. And I know that I can use the uh, copy paste of Minecraft, but I think I leave it this way. Because now I can just easily copy this and paste it on top. But I'm going to manually build it. Go and just one more site. Uh, we go up like this, go in. Here we go. Okay, looks good. Now each side is done. And like I said, I want to use this side and this side as walls. So let's build this side up and this side as well. Okay. Okay, good. Now we've got this in. Okay. Let's build this. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> very difficult to talk and come up with an idea. Uh, let's... Oh, wait a second. Did I make a mistake? Um, not exactly. If I do this, it should be fine again. Yeah, it's it's good now. Okay, now this doesn't look medieval yet, right? Medieval builds have a lot of shapes. And this is quite square for a medieval design, so we need to break this up somehow. So let's go for maybe a design like that for the windows. Well, I mean the walls and... Uh, let's uh, cover this first up with some cobblestone. Let's see how that looks. So I'm going to go line with this and just build it up and I wonder how this is going to look okay it's a start I am definitely going to add some other blocks as well but it's a great start Okay, then at the center, I think we can change it up with some polish on the side. No, 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 no. Let's just do something like this, maybe. Yeah. So we start over here and we go in. Here we go. And then on the sides, I will add some fences, probably. Uh, spruce, and let's go with some lanterns. Maybe something like this. Hmm. Not sure yet. And then we'll add some stairs over here. And on top as well. Uh, let's uh, use some slabs then. Maybe some slabs going across. Yeah, I am not sure. Mm, then at the center maybe some ladders why not 
let's try. Nah, that's too much. It's too much. So that's uh or maybe buttons. I'm not sure how this is going to end up, but maybe buttons at the sides and then at the center area as well. Maybe. So something like this. then I still feel like we should do something with this area maybe some iron bars yeah I think uh, that's that's good and let's change one more thing Something like this, maybe. And we'll use this like so. Yeah, why not? I think we can keep it this way. For now, at least. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> repeat this over here. So, give me uh i i like to do this clear thing so that i can just select every block i need okay then we got some dark oak fences on the sides with lanterns at center we go for iron bars lovely right <laughs> and then we add some buttons in something like that maybe that doesn't look bad i actually really like how it looks already uh, knowing that there is going to be a lot of changes okay now we got these sites in and definitely I can build it over on these sites as well and I think that's the best thing to do so that it is all done otherwise it is all work for later so we need to fix the windows um, okay then let's go up Here we go. Okay, now let's do the same pattern once more. Here we go. And I'm going to get the cobblestone and the polished and the side only first. Uh, let's let's see how okay so this one needs to go back one more block here we go let's get rid of these and then build the sides up then let's get rid of this and here we go So if there is, uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, I can take suggestions. Uh, it's not like I have a idea in mind. I am just randomly building, so to say. Okay. Okay, now, just one more to go. 
and then I'm going to uh, come up with a design for these uh, areas over here and I definitely need to add another row on top another floor so that's the next thing okay let's uh, place this and just one more go yeah so tell me uh do you like how the progress is going right now i think uh, it looks quite lovely already i can imagine it looking even better once we add the second the second row as well second floor i should say so let's uh, actually focus a little bit on that and then we get back to decorating the windows and all that fun stuff okay now the easiest way is to start at a the corner we have we went up seven blocks so let's repeat that one two three four five six seven then we just need to go in line just go up and I don't want to miss any block, so I'm going to build it the exact same way. Okay, here we go. It's done. Let's get rid of these blocks. Now we can just simply build this up. And the fun thing is that you don't need to remember how you've built this, because you can just copy it. Because we're just up on top of it, so... It's actually easy to copy. Okay, so let's add this in. Here we go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you build this, um, If you are especially building this in uh, survival, then it is quite difficult to get the first row, well, the first floor um, after you've done the second floor. What I mean by that is it's easier to build everything in, <clears throat> everything in while you go to the second floor than just to outframe everything and then go and design the windows. So this is not the best way to go with it. But it is a way I like to build, so keep that in mind. And as you can see here, I've added another row of blocks because this is actually representing these blocks over here. So let's go up again, just to be sure that we have the exact uh, the exact amount of space. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, which is normal because we've we have an additional block over here so it's all correct and we can get rid of that block but then once we add decoration over here it's going to look weird so keep that in mind and if we want to uh let's maybe go up one more block then <clears throat> um, maybe that's a good idea so that we have the exact amount of space um, let's do that and it's quite easy to do because you just need to get rid of these blocks and just add it on top here we go <laughs> we solved the problem okay now let's build this up And then let's go in. We go back three blocks, two, two, and then go back in. Go, let's continue. 
yeah it requires a lot of concentration i'm sorry if i don't talk too much because it is very difficult to think and talk together so especially if you are me i am actually not great at concentrating at things so okay now we need to build this up Then we go in just one other block. Here we go. Let's do the same thing over here. Now we are going to use this for decoration, and then we are going to leave the stairs. Uh, away because I want to add another row of stairs over here just to have the same design but we are not going to add another row of stairs over here so okay good there we go let's put this in and if after you get the basic shape it's actually very easy to build now we, I also need to make some different types of roof because medieval builds have always a lot of shapes a lot of uh, triangles so we need to add that in at some point as well Now let's add another row underneath. Okay, we need to add it on top. Okay, looks <laughs> looks good. Looks good. We'll still have an old side to fill in, but it's starting to come together, right? Okay, now we will worry about the roof uh, later on. Um, first, let's actually finish this all. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, it's, it's a good way of talking and building. Especially now, because I know what to do. I'm just repeating what I've done, so... It's easier to concentrate at this point. Okay, let's uh, go up. Just placing blocks, isn't it nice, right? <laughs> Here we go, let's connect this, uh, no, 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 we need to go back, connect this. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm new here, I just subscribed. Benjamin Ramsey, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Um, well, because you are new, let me explain what I'm doing. Uh, I'm uh, building a medieval mansion. Well, actually, I am coming up with a medieval mansion design. And um, if you have suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know. We've been using a lot of logs already, but and 
I'm going to make a tower shape. So we need to add some art shapes at some point. Uh, which is Hmm. Did I make a mistake? No. Just here we go. <laughs> it has been solved. And I'm thinking about how I am going to do the roof because I have a lot of problems making a roof. I'm just not creative enough to come up with a room idea, especially when it comes to medieval design. But we'll figure it out, right? It's okay. Uh, right here, we're going to... Yeah. Let's go up. And now we let's see for the sides we are going to go up three blocks. So I need to do the same thing over here. Uh wait. Yeah. It's okay now. And now with this we need to go down. Here we go. All fixed. You are doing great. Uh, thank you. Well, I don't have a lot of things to complain. I can, but <laughs> it's uh, it's going great. That's true. But it can always get better, right? So that's why I try new things like live streaming. I didn't like live streaming at all because I am actually a quite nervous person. And and I am a very shy person as well, so it is <laughs> very difficult to hit that go live button. It takes a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. Sometimes you just need to do things uh, which you don't feel that comfortable with doing, but... And I quite enjoy it as well. So it's not like I don't enjoy doing live streams. I really enjoy doing it. But it seems like... I don't know. Uh, I always struggle to find an idea uh, when it comes to live streams. Because there are so many different uh, channels doing the regular survival series, right? So it is uh, very difficult to stand out. And I think this way uh, it is it is a great way to connect with you and to do what this channel is about so building so which is great and uh, I have to be honest when building in a li live stream I feel less uh, how do you call that I feel less lazy so which is a great thing Normally, I am a very lazy person, so. But this uh, gives me enough energy, right? Just to talk to you and then just build. It's a great way to uh, come up with a design, to be honest. Okay, let's go in. Looks good. Now 
let's build everything up. Okay, let's go. I'm making too many mistakes now. I understand that if you build this in survival, it's going to take twice as long. Because even though I am in creative, uh, this has uh, taken almost an hour. And we still didn't have the frame done yet. Leave alone the design. So let's build this in. Okay, let's finish this. Almost there. Okay, here we go. Now, that <laughs> took some time, but it is worth it. It does look great, so I'm just doing the finishing touches, so to speak. Okay, lovely. Looks great. Now, let's uh, focus on the arch shapes. So, I want to have a circular roof going up. So, we're going to have a circular roof on top of this. But first, I want to try to make some arch shapes. Maybe like this. And then we go in over here and then we start going back. I think that's a great way of doing this. Hmm. Not sure yet, but let's see how this looks if we add some extra art shapes. Uh, one problem. We need to build it on top of this, obviously. Then we do it over here. And over here. Now we got some simple art shapes, uh, which is fine. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think I just stick with the circular roof. I think that's the best way. But uh, we think about that later on first. I want to decorate the side windows. Now, I have a very simple idea for this. And I think it's going to look great anyway. Um, let's first finish the entrance. And then, once this is done, here we go. And 
and let's do it over here as well. Do we go like this? No, 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 no. Um, So actually connect these sides like that and then hmm so let's add some fences obviously and maybe fences going up then we place lanterns. Hmm. Not sure. Um, well, first of all, one thing definitely, we need to change up these stairs think uh, we definitely need to break up the spruce color so let's uh, mix in these stairs then for the sides let me use a different uh, block for this so let's use some planks just to indicate it and then Let's go for white saint glass pane and maybe some chains. Maybe end rods. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So let's add some full blocks. On the back side. And let's build this up. So let's add some glass. Let's fill this in. Here we go. Then we go up once more. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. It just adds up perfectly. Okay. Now with that in, I'm going to add some chains going up as well. And then maybe I implement some ant rods. Okay. Let's take the ant rods maybe over here. Yeah, and then I go up again with some chains. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, it, it's looking fine, I think. And if we add some dark oak as well just to give this a little bit more depth i would say but uh no <laughs> no 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 i don't like this at all Okay, because I want to use the spruce fence. Yeah, I think this looks fine. So I'm going to repeat this on top and over here as well. I'm going to fill everything in already so that no mobs can spawn later on and so that I don't have to worry about it later on just for that 
One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Okay. And obviously we need to build this side up. We can add some ant rods at the end as well. I mean, uh, over here. But let's first finish this and let's see how it looks. Hmm. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, one thing I would change maybe is using some dark oak stairs instead of the spruce and maybe different types of glass we'll see let's uh, finish this first i can always change up how things look right so let's not worry about that yet lovely and I think I know what to do to break this up a little bit okay now I want to break up this design a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to count up and replace these blocks with some planks genius right <laughs> it is a quite easy thing to do but i think this will add a lot more to this build well <clears throat> oh, okay so no it didn't look as i expected to hmm. i don't know maybe if we change this back and we make this one block higher does that make a impact or maybe something like this. Hmm. I think this looks much better. So let's try this out and if we don't like it we can just always change it back right so i'm not too worried about changing things uh, oops here we go and obviously we need to do it on top as well Yeah, I think this is much better. Now we need to design this and I am going to go for the same shape as we have done over here. So let's get rid of this and is that correct? 
Um, yeah, I think yeah, this this should be correct. So now let's build in the sides, well the back side. Okay, now give me the polished and the sides well. Okay, here we go. Okay, then we can add slabs and stairs. This starts to look great, right? Uh, I'm actually quite happy with how things go until this point, at least. It can go wrong quite easily. So, okay, now let's take the iron bars. Let's go up. And now I actually need to decide if I go for the spruce again, which. I should. Okay. Let's add this in as well. Then let's go across. Get the idea we just need to go in go out now one thing uh, which is quite important is that we need to build this side and obviously this side as well but I'm going to use the same window shape so that's why I want to finish this first let's go across and let's leave this for now um looks good and if we add another row of stairs do we need to add some slabs as well i think we should and i will go for the dark oak slab right Yeah, just to break this up. And then we can add hmm, chains, maybe. Oops, chains going down. No. Um, maybe we can add some buttons. Yeah, this is the difficult part, deciding what to do. So I'm going to add buttons over there. And then on the sides, we can go for iron bars. Why not? Here we go. It looks quite interesting already. We can have windows on these two sides, but I think I'm going to go for this design on top as well. So let's put this in and then let's get rid of these blocks. Here we go. Now, I'm going to do something different for those two. I'm going to go for the deep sleigh, just to give this a little bit more different color, because otherwise it's going to get too much cobblestone and too much white. So 
to implement some deep slay. I'm going to build it with this this time. And I'm going to use deep slay for the roof as well. So keep that in mind. And let's uh, obviously do the same thing over here. I quite like this way of building, to be honest. <laughs> An old piece. Nothing to worry about. Here we go. Let's do the same thing over here. Okay, then on the sides again, we're going to go up with the same fences. And as you can see, this is one block lower than this one, which is fine. Then we can again go for our bars. Yeah, <laughs> it's great, right? <laughs> I second guess myself always so then let's add the lanterns now for the entrance itself um, let's maybe use the dark oak or the spruce door We'll see. Let's go back. Let's try the spruce door first. No, I think the dark oak should be better. Then we can go in with some buttons. Then let's add Two fences followed again with two lanterns. Why not? Looks great. Now, a quick change of mind. Let's uh, go one block more down. One more block down. Because I want to keep it the same. So. But we still need to fix this. Uh, don't worry about this. I will come back at this at some point and fix it. So let's first get rid of these. And let's make this the correct way. Here we go. Okay, looks good. Now, looks fine, right? Uh, let me know. Do you uh, like how this is going? Do I need to change anything? Well, I, I will definitely change a lot to this at some point, but for now, I'm very glad how things go. So now we need to finish these sides. So I'm going to go until this point finish all of this let's see how that looks right so here we're going to go in once you know what to do it's actually quite easy because then you can just repeat the same thing on each side right so and just because this is a very symmetrical build, it's going to get much easier as we go. Here, we're going to start over this point. So we are not going to make a circular shape connecting these two points. Okay. One side is done. Let's do it over here as well. Okay. 
and the best thing to do is just to finish this all so let's connect this point and I actually forgot it over here so okay looks good on top we need to do the same thing Okay, let's go in and out and in. So the fun part starts when I need to build each window in. Because <laughs> it's going to take like forever to build everything. But that's why I decided to do it in a live stream. Because it is quite annoying to place blocks for hours and hours on your own. This way we can just, you know, talk and have a conversation about different things. And the building gets bearable. Okay, let's connect these two points. And... lovely now we can go for bigger windows on the sides which is one thing i want to keep in mind um but we'll see but first uh, i need to take a little break uh, one minute i will be back uh, i'm just going to go to the bathroom I'm back so I uh, came up with an idea maybe uh, I can make walls on these two sides uh, because a medieval house doesn't have a lot of windows as you might know um, If I, okay, uh, here we go. So, what should I use for these walls? Maybe some wood or even wool. Uh, let's see how this looks. And then, should we fill it on the back side? Just to see how it looks. So we have a gray wall on the sides. Then we can even. Oh, yes, we can go for the deep sleigh at the center, maybe. Huh? No. <laughs> or maybe we can do something around the lines of this. No. Okay, so... This. <laughs> Decisions are always difficult, right? Or maybe black concrete. Uh, yeah, black concrete might look great as well. And then we use gray wool the center uh, 
No. Ah, uh, yes, and then we use item bars. To be honest, I like the idea, but I don't know if it's going to fit because it doesn't fit with this design over here. And obviously I can add some fences on the sides going up just to connect these two points. But no, I, I don't really like how this looks. So let's go for plan B then. And this is how it goes all the way. And what if we decide to make this whole wall as it is, just black. And then we can use some stairs maybe because i don't want to add windows on this side right uh, because then we have too many windows but a black wall it's just not ah decisions always difficult right okay so let's Get a row of concrete going all the way up. Welcome back, uh, Benjamin. Benjiman, I'm sorry. Okay, so now black concrete on the sides. Yeah, that's uh, let's go for that. And as, and as you see, I go all the way up just to make it easier to build the roof in. Now, if you're building this in creative, uh, I mean in survival, if you try to rebuild this in survival, I would advise not to put each block in. Uh, you can skip definitely these blocks over here and the blocks underneath, so you can spare some blocks. But I'm going to go for some black concrete on the sides and we can add maybe some concrete powder concrete powder <laughs> uh, black concrete powder in a symmetrical way maybe yeah why not looks good right and then we might do something with the iron bars in a symmetrical way as well. And we can use lanterns. Hmm. <laughs> um and um hmm yeah you <laughs> you tell me i think the iron bars are a little bit too much so we keep that out oh maybe we can add some glass panes Maybe some white glass panes going up. So it does look like windows, but it isn't. Uh, 
I am not sure. Nope. Yeah, this might work, and then we can add iron bars on the edge. Right? And after that, we can even go up with some fences. Hmm. And if we keep it this way, I kind of like this a little bit more, to be honest. Then we can go with some dark oak fences at the center, maybe. Hmm, why not? Let's uh let's try and let's see. We'll find out. Yeah, let's uh go for this design. Now I know I don't talk too much right now. That's because I tried to focus, uh, and we start over here then. There you go. Then on the sides, we go up. And then at the center, we go for the coke fences. Okay, looks good. Looks great. Uh, now, we can use trapdoors. Just to give this a little bit more color and a little bit more detail, so let's do that. Okay, now I forgot to get rid of this. And we can even do the same thing underneath. Yeah, I, I quite like that, so. Let's repeat that over here as well. Yeah. <laughs> it looks uh, quite good, right? I think it is a... Um, Quite lovely design. Now, I will add some windows over on these two sides. I might do that. So, we go for the same design. But then, this time, instead of using uh, full blocks, we're going to use glass. And I think I have a great way of doing this. So let's first take the white stained glass pane. Let's add it on the back side. Then we go up like this. And then we use white stained glass pane. Uh, like this and this will give it some natural shape as you can see 
so let's uh, actually go for this one now i need to add some full blocks on the sides which is fine yeah let's uh do it over here as well then here we're going to go across Here we go. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks great, right? Harsh Sharma, welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, now, let's repeat that over here. Go now. Let's put this in. Now we can use even some different glass paints. I uh, think we can go for light gray, maybe, but we'll see if I use the gray glass paint. How does it look? Is it too dark? Nah, it just looks like we didn't have placed any uh, windows over here, so let's... Let's stick with this one. Now we still need to build up the sides. Do we add an additional stair on the sides? We might do it like this and then Let's take some buttons and I'm going to get rid of these buttons on the sides and I'm going to add it only at the corners. So. Okay, let's do it over here as well. And over here, again, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, let's take some trapdoors and let's place it on top and underneath. Looks good. Now we can even add trapdoors going up on the sides. Let's see how this looks. Uh, no. We can add it going across. Yeah, let's uh, actually do it like that. Yeah, I kind of like this. So we need to go up and up over here. So here and here. Right. Yeah, that looks good. Looks fine. Now let's repeat it over here. And I might use a different trapdoor. Maybe dark oak. Oh wait, let's uh, first finish this. Otherwise, it's going to get very messy. Okay. 
made and we take the buttons and place it in <clears throat> do i have any future plans for releasing some more survival slash hardcore world episodes uh, I do have a plan for that. I uh, am actually, well, I, I do have a, a live series already, but I'm going to do a um, regular uh, live series, uh, live series, <laughs> regular survival series. I will definitely do that at some point, but... Um, yeah, for now, I, I really like to do it live. So I do have a uh, live series going on already. Now let's uh, actually build in these sites. So let's go all the way up. Now we still need to build all of this in, <laughs> which is going to get quite interesting. I mean, it already took so long just to only build this in. So you imagine how long it's going to take to get everything done. Okay, now on the sides, we go up here, we need to go across. Yeah, uh, I, I, I actually enjoy playing the game, but the thing is that there are so many survival series out there. It's, uh, I, I don't know, I don't think like I can add anything to it. Just, uh, you know, uh, differentiate myself from the others. So. But I'm trying. It's a huge project. Yeah, it's it's actually bigger than I expected to. I thought that it would be a quite easy job, but um, but it's okay. That means that there are a lot more live uh, episodes coming. Because again, even though we are finished with the build itself, there's still the interior, and obviously we can just leave it like this, right? So we need a massive garden which uh, actually complements our build. Okay, so we got this. Now, I'm not going to build in the roof yet, um, but it, uh, it already looks quite interesting. So let's see, what can we add? We have some trapdoors, we have it over here as well. What? Ah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> then let's get the fences in. And obviously the trip doors as well. Okay, great. <clears throat> well, it is it is a very big project, so I might ask some help at some point. <laughs> but uh, okay, this uh, looks 
quite nice. Very lovely. No. Here we go. But again, I am open for suggestions. So if you want um Okay, we need to go in Momoro. So if you have suggestions, it can be interior, exterior, it doesn't really matter actually. I'm open for all of it. Okay, that. Okay, now let's add the grey concrete powder, black concrete powder it is actually. God, so <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we got that in. Now, one thing is that I am looking at these sites and i think there is something missing still and i don't want to go uh again with some fences i think it's going to be too much but we'll see let's try it because then we can put the button at the inner side of this then on the sides we can go up with some fences yeah i think that's a great idea as well we can always change this up so it doesn't really matter right Okay, good. Um, let's not forget this. Okay, lovely. Now we can add trap doors. Just to give this a little bit more color here and there. Come on. Uh, unfortunately, we can place it where we have the buttons. Which is okay, I guess. Or do we skip these buttons and just place it in going across? Yeah, I think we can do that for for this side. And then on the remaining sides, we keep the buttons and just work in between it. And we leave it out for these sides. should right yeah let's let's leave it out for these sides and we're going to use it over on the corners only i think that would be fine let's place some redstone lamps Okay. Does lever look good if you use it for decoration? Well, 
<laughs> Not really. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm quiet a lot. Uh, I try to think about the next step. Because as far as I am concerned, the design looks great overall. But again, <laughs> you see this huge area which needs to be done. So it is a massive <laughs> project. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I want to start thinking about the roof. Um, or even maybe the garden. We can focus a little bit on the garden as well. Not sure. Because the garden is going to take a very long time as well. So maybe... We forgot to add some trapdoors. Yeah, so let me know if you have suggestions. Uh, I can definitely use some suggestions. What to do next? I am uh, actually tempted to go down over here and then get rid of all of these blocks just to make this a little bit higher than it is. I think that will look great as well. Not sure. Um, first, let me uh, finish this. Going all the way around. Because I want to start working on the roof. So, that's why. And don't don't worry i'm not going to get the roof in now because i want to have the exterior done first otherwise it's going to get very complicated well it's not but i just like to do it this way and it is a huge task to get everything done and that's why i decided to do it live right Otherwise, I was building right now for two hours for my own. Which is not a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but... Interaction is always great. And while I do this, I can see that I have missed a lot of things. So, uh, do you uh, guys enjoy the survival part of Minecraft or the building? And I assume you know the answer for me. Uh, <laughs> I do building all the time. Here we go. Now we can go ahead and place trap doors at some point. We'll see. And do I go for the dark oak trapdoor? Well, the thing is, I want to use deep sleigh. And unfortunately, the difference between dark oak and deep sleigh not that visible from a distance so I might go for the iron trap door which has a lot more contrast so all right, but I think this is a little bit too much 
I don't know. I might even go for the Talco trapdoor. Maybe like that, and then I want to have some extra windows on these sides, so it's not going to be a simple roof. Uh, we are going to build two windows. Hmm. What the anyway? Anyway, let's uh, find out. Oh, this is going to look. So the easiest way is to get the trapdoors in first, then the roof. Like I said, I'm not going to build the whole roof. I just want to give you an indication about how the roof is going to look and what I think uh, to do with the designing aspect of it. Because I want to try things I have I haven't done before, so that's why I want to add some extra windows on top of the roof, within the roof, I should say. Great, that's almost there. And I wonder how many blocks we've used already. Let's uh, actually take a look at how, ma how many blocks I have been using right now. So we have used 3,210 dark oak wood, 3,210. 610 spruce stairs it's not a lot actually we only have used a lot of dark oak wood so well to be honest it's normal because this is only the quarter of what we need so okay now i got the deep slate tile stairs um I want to go and make it maybe one block higher. And then uh, let's see. Or we go for the stone hmm i want to test something out if we do this and we use maybe some smooth stone slabs how does that look nah never mind and if we get rid of this Unfortunate. Then simply I will go up with some stairs. But first I wonder how it's going to look. So let's place a row in. And I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to stop at the corner. Then later on, I'm going to build in some windows. Okay, the deep sleigh should look great. So, okay, go in, out, in, out. Stop on this side. Then, um, 
let's use some planks and this is how I usually get the roof done it's the, actually the easiest way to add some full blocks on the back side So this way, don't mess it up easily. Good, now let's add another row on top. And this is the last row actually. I'm going to add only two rows and then I will finish it up later. This is just to give you some indication. And obviously, like I said before, we are going to add some windows within the roof. And I might do some building off stream. So let me know in the comments if you want me to finish the rest of the sites um, on my own. Or do you want me to keep this a 100% live stream because I think that way it's going to be much more fun then once this is done we might even add a row of trapdoors so let's find out how this looks and if I don't like it we can just get rid of it Okay. Please look good. I know that this roof design works, but I'm not sure how it looks for this build. Um It has some potential. <laughs> It definitely has potential. And I think once we add more roof on top, it's going to look much better. Okay. Now here you just want to go in. I think this is going to look fine. So let's keep being on this track. I have built a small uh, cabin-like house where I, uh, where I have used the dark oak trap doors uh, for the roof and it looked quite lovely and I think it will just fit in with this as well. So that's why I want to build this up just to make sure that it looks great. Now imagine another row on top. There's only one way to find out, right? Let's place it in. And let's see if it fits. And when it does, it's great. And if it's not, I will just get rid of everything. Um,
Okay, let's block this out and here we go. It looks great. I'm not sure about the dark oak uh, trapdoors. But I still think that this is something we can work with because this gives me enough room to make a room over on top of this. Or small windows going up. Which should look lovely as well. So this leaves us with a lot of um, opportunity, so to speak. And <laughs> we still need to build all of this. Now, one plus side is that building everything in is actually quicker than coming up with the design itself. So I'm not too worried about getting those in. Um, but I will definitely focus a little bit more uh, for the roof because it, it's too flat. I am not really satisfied with the roof yet, but it's going places. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think for today, this is going to be enough. Now, in the next live stream, we are going to definitely do some more work on the exterior and hopefully we get even time to make the garden itself which is going to take a long time as well but i have some great plans in mind so if you have suggestions uh, feel free to let me know and uh, if you are new feel free to subscribe and like and share have a nice day i see you the next time